Good freaking morning. How are you guys? Just in my hotel room. Got in last night to Birmingham, England. For Gymshark. So season season two of the Steve Cook collection. I don't know, we're, we're calling it that, we're calling it that. Season one came out like over a year ago in Australia. We've been in the beginning stages the last couple months, picking out designs, things I like, going over materials, going over lengths, colors. This is now the time I get to see what it feels like, what it looks like. So I gotta go try it on and then we'll make adjustments from there. So I'm in Birmingham, England, where Gymshark is at. That is tomorrow, today, we have a free day because we got in last night and they wanted to get us used to jet lag. So I'm gonna go do hit cardio right now. The new douchebag, my new douchebag is launching. You're like, Steve, what the hell's a douchebag? Yes, a douchebag. I love the looks I get with it in the gym, but my new travel luggage as well as my gym bag. So douchebag Scandinavian company, we partnered up. I got to design this. You know how I do. You know how I love my camo. So we have black on black camo there. And then we have the lime green um, douchebag strap in the front. The cool thing about mine, the the, the gym, the we call it the the gym hugger, is it has a place inside to put a shaker cup. By the way, I lost my ear pods, bought another pair, and then found my old pair. Now I have two pair of ear pods. I don't know if that's just good or just stupid, but you guys can see we have the spot in here now. This is the first douchebag that has a spot in there that you can hold a shaker cup. So it doubles as not only my travel luggage, but then also my gym bag when I get to wherever I'm going. So anyhow, this morning it's about 8.30. Here's my thing, here's my little spiel this morning. I'm about to go do hit cardio. I do hit twice a week right now. And then I do lifts two to three times depending on if you count my hike or getting outside. Uh, a day of cardio. I don't. So I'm saying right now I'm doing four days of cardio. If you're traveling, if you're on vacation, do something. You might be used to working out five days a week for 90 minutes at home. If you're on vacation and people you're with don't want to do a bunch of gym sessions, that's okay. Wake up 20 minutes early. Wake up 30 minutes early. Go stretch. Go do a treadmill. Today is a treadmill bodyweight workout. So most places you can either run outside or have a treadmill. That's all you need for this workout. We're going to be supersetting, or I call it supersetting, we're gonna be doing sprints on the treadmill followed by some bo different body weight exercises. So it's gonna be an intense 20 to 30 minutes and then, and then you can be done. But that right there, if you just stay in that habit of going to the gym even when you're on vacation, or I shouldn't say going to the gym, of staying active and doing some form of exercise, you're gonna be better off in the long run because there's those habits that keep us going. It's that routine, it's staying committed Motivation comes and goes, but that routine, those habits, those are what's gonna carry you through. So, I'm gonna go down right now and do that. We're, uh, it's gonna be intense. It's just, it's short, you get in, you get out. So, and then, the rest of the day, we're gonna work out later on today, because I'm not on vacation, this is work for me, and maybe go shopping as well. So, Birmingham seems like it's, the sun's trying to peek out right now, it doesn't really want to, but the hotel room is pretty nice. Got a little, got a little like comic book thing going on here. I slept so-so. My, my kind of rules on, on sleeping, if I get less than I should say optimal sleep, I'm backing off from, from what I typically do in the gym. Sleep is so key. We t I don't talk about that enough, but if you're not sleeping and staying hydrated, what the hell are you doing? Those things pretty much you can control. Not all the time, you can't always control sleep, but when you can, those two things are pretty easy to control. Go to bed, stay off Netflix, and get enough water. Let's go do some cardio. I forgot. Real quick, the reason I'm showing the bag is because I'm doing a giveaway on this video. So you guys have to comment on this video um, and we'll be picking a winner to do this giveaway. So let me know, this is gonna be very limited. They did not do many of these bags. So when they go, I expect them to go fast. So if you guys wanna try to win this before it drops, I will pick a winner and announce it on the next video. All right, let's go see what the gym looks like. Not too bad, not too bad as far as hotel gyms go. I mean, most hotels these days are actually pretty good. But like I said, if you have a treadmill and a body, you can get a great workout. Or if it's nice weather. It was starting to sprinkle a little bit outside, so I'm gonna go in here today. But if it was sunny out, you better believe I'd be outside, so. 
Um, I'll be showing you guys what we're doing here in a sec. I'm gonna warm up first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who we got here. Look who just, look who just walked in. Oh. I, I just sleep. Too bad. We'll be doing a hit workout. Little hit session, foam rolling beforehand. Um, foam rolling and just stretching because goodness gracious, we all know sitting down on a flight, well maybe we all don't know this, I didn't know this. <laughs> sitting down for long periods of time shortens up all those muscles in our hip flexors um, and then it ends up being a bad back. When you, when you ride on planes for 10 plus hours all the time, um, things like your lower back start giving you issues when you start trying to work out. So you need to make sure you do all your prehab stuff, foam rolling, stretching, working on mobility, all the stuff that we all hate. This is the hard stuff. The stuff that I'm doing right now, working out is the fun part. This is the part that sucks. So make sure you do the foam rolling and stretch. All right, so gotta get down here close to you guys. Here's the workout right now. Can you guys see that? Can you see it? No, you can't. We'll put it on the screen for you guys. It's a 400 meter sprint. So we're gonna warm up, jog for a minute, and then a 400 meter sprint. When I say sprint, 400 meters is a long ways to sprint. So um, do something that you would, like an all out sprint, and then scale it back 25%. So if you are running for your life, scale that back 25%, and that's where I want you trying to hang out for 400 meters. Get off the treadmill, 10 toes to bar. So if you don't have um, a place that you can do toes to bar, do V-ups. So a V-up would look like this on a mat, touching your toes. That's a V-up. You got 10 of those or 10 toes to bars. If you can't do toes to bars, but you still have a place to do them, you can do knee-ups um, and that will be an, another substitute as well. So after that, you have a 30 second break and then another 400 meter sprint, followed by 30, Bicycle crunches, one, two, three, four. So this is all about hit cardio and abs because those are the two things I like to do in the morning. Um, and then another 400 meter sprint after the bicycle crunches and then we have 25 reverse crunches. So reverse crunches, hands, I want you to have those hands behind your back right here and as you come up, the leg's gonna be straight. As you come up, you're rounding your back bringing your hips off and then back down. So it's all nice and slow and controlled. Each time you bring your legs up, it's about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then back down. So this one, it's the burn. So we have reverse crunches. You got 25 of those. Another 400 meter sprint, followed by a one minute plank. That plank here, I just want your, your butt is squeezed and I kinda squeeze. You're on your toes. You can go either up here, here, or you can just do this. But you gotta go for a solid one minute or however long you can go for. Then another 400 meter sprint on the treadmill, followed by 50 leg lifts. Leg lifts are gonna be here, keeping those legs off the ground. You can do this, you can just do these, but you got, 50 repetitions, so you can go up and down or side to side. Um, each one of those counts as one reps, and you got 50 of those, or until you fail. And then after each ab exercise, take 15 to 20 seconds, no more than 20 seconds. Then we have another 400 meter and toes to bar. So that is a, we're, we're really designing this to just get that, that heart rate skyrocketed while on the treadmill, and then the recovery time is our abs which isn't a ton of recovery, but it's constantly moving. Again, running at about 75% max effort and then filling in the rest with a brutal ab session. So all in all, it'll be a mile and a half run and six sets of ab exercises. So we're gonna be finishing off with toes to bars again or V-ups, that one is just super
These are all about the slow. Hands underneath the butt. Go you know, nice and slow. Squeeze at the top. One. Five seconds on these. There's no way. Pull oh, three seconds. One, two, three. Gotta work those lower abs. Oh. Fifteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I bet you guys didn't think I could count and drink water at the same time. Starting to get a little harder. Those first couple weren't too bad. We've now gone a mile. One minute plank. Keep it set up on the clock. 20 seconds down. Forty seconds down. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. It should be a little bit hard. Start so coming off that treadmill, your heart rate should be nice and high. All right, fifth treadmill spread. This beats lifts for me any day. I come in, something about starting your day off with something that's a little bit more challenging than walking. It feels so good. Not, not to say that I don't do lifts as well. This is how this is how you shred body fat. This is how you torch that body fat. Get lean, son. Who knows? Leg lifts. Fifth deal. Again, this can be up and down. Scissors. Kicks, if you're doing alternating, one set is both feet. So, so we'll go 10 like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
mostly trying to focus a lot more on my hips because that's where I'm really tight and that's what's making my lower back all jacked up. Nip slip. Oh, no one likes a nip slip. That's why there's no one in here. I came in here, this place is full. I did one little nip slip and it cleared out and I was like, oh, douchebag. Oh. So yeah, I got the bag. It's dropping next week. You guys can get it if you want. You can actually sign up or enter in the free giveaway on this video. They didn't really care for that. It wasn't very proper. But it's all right. I still drink my, my tea with my pinky up though. Well, I'm bougie, man. I'm bougie AF. Oh, Kelly Clarkson, that's tight. People were wondering why I said Kelly Clarkson. If you guys have ever seen the 40-year-old virgin, that's why. Anytime something's hard for me, or like shocking, Kelly Clarkson is what I say. Because when he's getting his chest hair waxed and gets it pulled off, he yells, Kelly Clarkson! I definitely need to do more of this stuff, even in the airport, between flights, because my shit is tight. All right, guys, that's closing it out. Start your day. Start your day off with a W. You make your bed in the morning, stay hydrated, get enough sleep, and do this. Meditate a little bit too. That's setting yourself up for success. I know that was kind of a long list. I started to talk and I was like, oh, that's, that's one more thing. That's one more thing. Honestly, just start off with one and then build upon it. That's kind of my morning routine. You can make your bed, move for 20 to 30 minutes, and then meditate. You set yourself up for that and the rest of your day will be a W. What happens when you win each day? You win at life. Can I trademark that? Win each day, win at life. That simple, okay? All right, guys. We'll see you. Let's go shopping, huh, Alec? Let's see what kind of fashion we got here. Let's compare English fashion to Aussie fashion. We got some sweet collabs lined up here. And then tomorrow, we'll go look at the Gymshark, my new Gymshark line. All right, I'm out.